This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, volatility spiked on fear of the newly identified Omicron variant and the announcement by the Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell that the Federal Reserve might end its pandemic era stimulus sooner than expected. But now that we have vaccines and therapeutics to deal with COVID and its variants, I have to believe that the reaction this week is more about the realization that monetary policy, both here and abroad, is about to change. Now, our Fed Chairman, Jerome Powell, has finally acknowledged that inflation is rising and will no longer use the word transitory when referencing inflation. And that has led many to believe that the Fed will raise interest rates as early as April versus the expected midsummer timetable. Meanwhile, he acknowledged that the economy is continuing to strengthen and unemployment at 4.2% is falling faster than anyone at the Fed anticipated. All in all, economic news continues to be positive. Now, with that being said, short-term volatility in the financial markets is not a call to action. It doesn't announce its arrival or its departure, and it has no predictive power and is impossible to time. What it does provide is an opportunity for long-term investors to accumulate shares at discounted prices. Hey, my son, Rye, and I have 75 years of combined industry experience in building low-cost, tax-efficient, gold-based portfolios. If you want to get your free evaluation, all you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC.